how great thou art. Do we just really understand the greatness of God? Huh? He is great. Is that right? And I love to tell people how great he is. The reason why I love to tell people how great he is is because I love to tell them what he brought me from. Huh? So now, before he brought me from, he had to be great. Yes. And he brought me from somewhere. And I just thank God for that. Hallelujah. Give an honor to my heavenly father. To each and every one under the sound of my voice. As always, I'm always happy to be here. I'm always glad to come and see about y'all. See how you look. See if you got in a in a family or lost in a week or whatever. Yeah, I don't know about you, bro. I want to start losing a little weight. I would like it. I'm gonna have Bible here. I would like for each and every one, if you will, to turn your Bibles to Romans chapter 13. And, and, and I just wonder how much do you know about that chapter? And when I complete this, I'm going on into Romans chapter 14. Hear yeah. me? Oh my goodness. Are we going home tonight? Oh yes we are. Ah, concerning duties to civil rulers. We have a many rulers, don't we? And they have their duties to do. Some of them duties that they have we don't care for, is that right? Some of the duties that do it seem that they don't know how to do it. That it need to be replaced with someone else. But let me tell you one thing. With the duty that God gave Jesus Christ our Lord, no man, no woman, no boy, no girl in this world can take it away. God's all right for me. I was listening and I heard something that I didn't like to hear someone. And this was on television. This person had the imps to say that Jesus Christ was not God's son. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I don't see who it is, do it. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I, I, I don't like to tell, you know, where I heard it from. And he was giving it. But do you know we got denominations today have more or less for God. Do y'all hear me? Than they need to have. We got the nomination that they would name everything else in the place of God. God is the creator. He is the one that made us. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. My mom and daddy made me. Well, you're right. But who made them? Their mom and daddy. All right, who made them? Oh, I don't know. God is the cause of all of us being in this world. You see, after Adam disobeyed God, so how smart Satan is, he saw Adam's wife walking around in the garden. She didn't know she was naked out there, but he did. 
And he said unto her, I said, listen, is it really true that God said, you should not eat of every tree? Yes, he did. Oh, look at that tree. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That, don't it smell good? Yeah. Take it, take it, give it, give it, give it, give it out or something. That don't taste good. Well, he said that God said he got all oh, don't worry about that. Take a turn. He take this fruit to Adam, and Adam ate the fruit. And when Adam ate the fruit, then all hell broke loose. Why they called Adam disobeyed God? Let me tell you one thing. You may disobey me, and I may disobey you. But don't ever get in your mind, I'm going to disobey God. That's the worst thing that you can ever have in your mind. I can do what I want to do. Nobody got nothing to do with it. I go where I want to go. I say what I want to say. And when time for me to leave here, guess what? God will bring me right on into the kingdom of heaven. And that's a lot of the hell. Yeah. He'll put you right in the place in hell where you belong. Well now, it said here, it said, let every soul be subject unto what? The higher power, huh? Our power, all right. For there is no power but of God. I don't care how much power you think you have. I don't care how many, uh, whatever it is you go through, to gain weight and all this kind of stuff, get big muscles, I don't care nothing about that. God is the one that has the power. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordination of God. And what? And they that resist, receive to themselves what? Damnation. See, any time we disobey God, we're looking for damnation to take place. Because whatever God tells us is true. Are you going to read your Bible from Genesis to Revelation? And if you find any place in there where the Bible lies, I want you to show it to me. He, don't, he, don't, he does not lie. All right? So now, for rulers are not a terror of good works, but what? But of evil. You got, we got people who rules us, you know, and they want us to do this or want us to do that. And, and to us, it does not seem right, you know, whether we should do that or not. But he's the ruler. And what I say goes. You know, and that's not right all the time. All right? Okay? So now, would thou then not be afraid of that of the power? Do that which is good, and then what? Thou shalt have praises of the same. Do whatever is good. Don't let no devil in hell, outside of hell, nowhere else in the world, fool you. That's bad. And we got too many people today, my friends, that believe more in the devil than they do in God. Yeah. If they didn't, they would jump and go and do things to have a finish. Look at the killing that we have in this world today. Young people's killing people. And I understand, I don't know how to prove whether they're okay or not, but I understand that the government was talking about giving school children guns to take to school. Now, don't you know that's ignorant? I'm hoping they didn't pass that law. Amen. Amen. We got too many people that's in the, that's the, that have something to do with the law that don't know what they're talking about, don't know what they're doing. They're doing it because they look good. They're doing it because I'm making good money. You see, the money is the root of all evil. 
God does not care about our money. God cares about us. Your money don't mean nothing in the sight of God. All right. Okay, okay. But he is the minister of God to thee. For what? For good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he bears not the word. Huh? Of God. Be afraid. Okay? So now, for he is the minister of God, listen to this, and revenge to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Now, this minister of God that we're talking about is Jesus Christ. Whatever you do that's evil, Jesus Christ is in control. But, we many of us don't believe this. Before you get to God, you've got to go by the Son. You got to go by Jesus Christ. But listen, in the time of the resurrection, guess who gonna answer the questions? Who's gonna ask the question? God is gonna take care of this. Jesus Christ, we go through Jesus Christ. But we got to go through him to get to God. No other way you get there. So when you say that. Jesus Christ is not God's son. That's a big lie. God did not sexually marry the house of Jesus. The power that he had, he put it into the womb. The Holy Spirit. And when this happened, Jesus was born. Now, whether you know it or not, before the creation of everything, Jesus was right there with God, but he was a spirit. And after God looked all over the earth, everywhere he could find nobody that was worthy, he said, I've got to give my son. He's going to be in control. So now, Jesus Christ is in control. I don't care what you say or how you do it. I don't care how you change the words. Jesus Christ is in control. Why? Then when Jesus was born, Joseph, he thought one time he wasn't going to marry Mary because it wasn't on his baby. But Joseph found out that that was God doing the work. And he married Mary. Day. So now we got too many marriages today, today, and too many divorces. If God put you and your husband together, that don't mean that you look out and you see somebody else you want. You divorce your husband, get him or her, whatever. When God put you together, He put you together until death. Now, 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 it, it's funny to say, but as good looking as I am, I can't have it all about it. <laughs> but as good, as good looking as I am, do y'all think you get married one day? You know. <laughs> God bless me. God bless my beloved wife. Because guess what? We've been married for 64 years. You mean? Well, you the old man. I was you young. <laughs> oh, I'm on a sweet 16. <laughs> but 
Now we had ups and downs, our trials and our tribulations. But guess what? God was able to bring us out of it. Why? Because we gave ourselves to God huh? before the wedding. People does not realize this. God has got your wife. God has got your husband. But you got to get what you want. And then just a few days, he said up in court, I want to sue him. I want to sue her. Because she's not an old man. He's too much. I can't handle it. Why? Because you got the wrong one. So now, when you two young people, May I say to y'all, pray to God. Pray to God that you two are for one another. Pray to God. And He'll show it to you. You know why? you put more love in you. Okay? All right. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> you look at me like this. I don't know who I'm right or wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've been a try this. I know what you're saying, you know. But no, if God got it for you, you got nothing to worry about. That's right. Okay? So now, where would I stop all that here? Huh? I'm going back over four. Four is, he is the minister of God to the for uh, what? For good. Now, we as ministers of the gospel, Jesus Christ is the minister of God. But we as Jesus, uh, 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 ministers of Jesus Christ of the gospel. We support the people. <coughs> We're not to rule nothing. God tells us exactly what to do how to handle it. That everything will be fine. And another thing about it, churches now, the deacons of the church now have took over. They tell the pastor what to do, what not to do. But if that pastor was put there by Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the one who tells you what to do or don't. You don't tell him nothing. And if you find that he's a little off here or there, you don't get up before the congregation start blowing him out. After everything is over, say, Pastor, can we uh, just meet with you? Two you know? things we'd like to talk with you about. You know, and talk it over. That way nobody knows it. Because we got too many people in the church won't know everybody's business. Hallelujah. And I got news for you. They can't know no more business than God knows. That's true. That's true. All right. Wherefore, ye must need be subject. Not only for rap. But also for consent, cons 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 that's right. I, I get it. I get it. Consciously, for this cause, pay ye tributes. Also, for they are God's ministers, attending what? Continually. Now, right up on this very thing. Now, let me tell you something. Out of all of my years of pastoring, I pastored four churches. And the last one I pastored, I had a pastor for 12 years. And I had a congregation close to 200. But what made me leave there, the deacons that I had, they started telling the members thing behind my back. And it got to me. You know. So when this thing got to me, I told my wife, I said, honey, I said, I'm fixing to uh, get ready to leave go to Bethlehem. I said, because Jesus Christ is not leading me to deacons are. All right. I did that. I lived there. And since I've been gone, neither of them say, Pastor Lock, we sure wish you back at Bethlehem. It's one thing about it, my brother and sister, whatsoever you sow, you're going to reap. You 
you're going to reap whatever you sow. Sometimes you reap as soon as you think. So going down the road that you're going to reap. That's right. Because the main thing about it, whatever we do wrong, is going down on the book. You already know that, did you? Whatever you do is it's going down the book. And on, on the day of judgment, that book going to be open. Guess who's going to open it? God is the one going to open it. When he opened an example of that book, he's going to see what you've done. Call you by your name. You did this and you did that and you did the other. You did something. You did all this. And you were wrong. You didn't confess your wrongness. You depart from me. In hell, you will lift up your eyes. This going to be a time, y'all. People think they're going to get rid of it. They think they're going to have it ahead of me. But they ain't going to have it me. No. God will have it fixed for them. Because one thing about you're not going to come in God's kingdom, in God's world, and rule God's kingdom. All right. Now, when y'all get with me, stop counting. Somebody may be tired of hearing this. Huh? All right. <laughs> Render therefore to all that do tribute to whom tribute is due. Custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Honor to whom honor. Are we supposed to do that? When somebody come here, just like I'm here with you, you are supposed to honor me while I'm I'm supposed to honor you while I'm here. That's Christianity. That's, that's God said it. Yeah. You see? Now, I didn't come here for you to tell look here now. You come here and you speak to them. I don't want you to speak to them. Oh, I'm going to give you something to speak. No, you ain't give me nothing to speak of. Well, I was God already done give it to me. That's right. So now, when God gives you something, nobody can take it. <laughs> Are you over? Yes. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you are. All right. All right. Oh, Lord, it's something here. We, 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 we really mess up here. Oh, no man, anything. But the law of one another, for he that loveth another, what? Has fulfilled the law. Now what law? The law of government? No. The law of God. That's right. Because see, the law of the government sometimes is so rotten. You don't have to do about that. But the law of God. And when that time that you fulfill the law of God, you don't have nothing to worry about. You are headed for a great blessing. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. For mm -hmm. well, this thou shalt not... Is that anybody here coming into the adultery? No way of saying that. <laughs> For this thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Now look at all the killing that's going on today. All right? Thou shalt not steal. People don't care. They, they go behind you, steal what you got. Or go by fire with it. You don't know they got it. But it's that stolen. Okay? All right. <laughs> Thou shalt not bear false witness. Oh, my goodness. How many do that? How many? Day by day, you bear false witness. All right? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thou shalt not covet, and if thou be if there be any other commandment, it is briefly companion, comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt do what? Love thy neighbor as 
Is it anybody in here that uh, uh, love yourself? You love yourself, right? Why you love me? No. I got to love you in order to be here and speak in God's word. I said, you, you must have some love for me, but I wouldn't be here. Somebody not told you, don't bring him back here. <laughs> but I'm here. And I always enjoy myself coming here. He goes past and did get lost time coming. <laughs> don't tell him that. <laughs> all right, all right. God said, love one another. Huh? That shall, what thou shall, am I too far down? I am too far down. Right. All right. Yeah, love working no out to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. All right. So now, since it's the fulfillment of the law, and that knowing the time that now it is our time to awake our sleep. For now is our salvation near that we believe. That let you know out of all of our doings, y'all, that let you know the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of guidance and let us put on the armor of light. So Jesus Christ is telling us here get right because I'm coming. And he also telling us this. You don't know the day or the hour. But I'm coming. But I will be there. Now, when he come, he don't want to catch you down your knees down there. He don't want to catch no adultery. Divorces. All of this. And then you're running up to him. He tell you, I won't go either apart from him. I don't know nothing about you. And when he tell you I don't know you, you're in bad shape. Because you're headed to the pit of hell. You mean there's a hell? That's what the Bible says. And, and the Bible says a burning hell. Yeah, you don't go there and have fish fries and cook hamburgers and all that. Huh? Not in hell, you know. No. I've been to this church one time. Had a heaven and hell party. They had more people going to hell than they did here in heaven. Because in hell they were buying fresh fish, chickens, and all that. In heaven, all they were eating cake and drinking, drinking, drinking juice. So hell was full. That's where hell would be. So what we need to do is make up in our mind before we leave here. Whether you want to be with the Lord or don't want to be with the Lord. And I would advise you to say, yes, I want to be with the Lord. And say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Make me what you would have me to be. Let me do what you would have me to do. Send me where you would have me to go. Because I am yours. Boy, you make Satan mad and you sit down. You make it mad when you say that. Because Satan came down when he was thrown out of heaven by Michael. And, 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 and he thrown out of there. Before he came, y'all know what he did? A lot of people don't know this. Before he left heaven and come down to earth, he said, I'm not going yet. I've got to bring somebody with me. He had some angels up there following him. So he brought a third of them down to the earth. And when he got down to the earth, he said, now all of this is yours to work in. Me, my place is in the church. You want 
find a devil going to church, you find him. That's right. Set up there with a lay cross. Winking the eyes of the demons. Getting into their spirit, into their mind. And they getting up saying things they got no business saying. Trying to order the pastor. Pastor, you do this and you do that, you do the other. You know, if you don't, we don't, we're not going to pay you. All that you See, I'm, I'm, I'm experienced with pastoring. And one thing that I thank God for, out of all my pastoring, I never put a price on no church that I pastor. I let God take care of that. I remember one time I was called to New York to run a revival. And I had a good time that week running a revival. And that Friday night after the service was over, one of the deacons came to me and said, Pastor, would you come with us in the all we would like to talk with you? I said, sure, I'll be happy to. I was getting ready to come back to New York with my wife down here. When I went in there, they said, you know what? Said, you did such a good job this week. Everybody talking about the job that you did this week. And we want to know, can you give us another week? I said, oh yes, I'd be more than happy. I just called my wife and let her know that I won't be home until next weekend. Well, well Pastor, how much you going to charge us to do that? I said, wait a minute. Now, you ask me how much I'm going to charge you. That's between you and God. You ain't giving no price. I said, no, I'm not giving no price. That's between you and God. You asked me to come back and give you another week, and I agreed that I would. So whatever God put in your heart to give me, you do that. And I'll be pleased. But I'm not putting a price on it. Guess what? I left there with a good paycheck. That's right. Why? Because I did what was right. I didn't tell them, yeah, I'll do you another week, but you got to give me 50 or $50, 100 or something. I didn't tell them that. God is the boss. Whatever God says for you to do, you do that. And I'll be satisfied. Because I do not play with God, y'all. I don't care who, I mean, how many of y'all want to play with God? I don't play with God. You know what? I know He is my heavenly Father. I know that He is my Master. And I know that Jesus Christ is my heavenly brother. The Holy Spirit is my guide. So I'm not going to mess up in that. I'm not going to do that. You'll never, you'll never let me hear me go around here and say, when I heard somebody say, hey, Jesus Christ is not God's son. That's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. And you know, a, lot of, a lot of people believe that. we got a lot of people that will believe that. That's right. Look, look at these guys walking around here with the pants down to here. Look at these ladies walking around and dresses up to here. It's great. All of them would take that advice. Well, I can do what I want to do. I can, I can be dressed like I want to dress. It's nobody's business how I be dressed. Yes, it is God's business. Because we're supposed to be dressed decent and in order. Uh oh, I better go and sit down. God, God, God's all right. But, 14, believe on the Lord Jesus and make not provision for the flesh. Huh? Yeah. To do what? Fulfill the lust thereof. Now, this is right here is bad, right? But it's true. We are not to judge each other. But don't we do it? We judge each other. Somebody made you leave in the night and say, you know, he just messed up, you know, he's here and he's talking about and all that. That's you judge. Is it? But we are not to judge no one. We're supposed to work together. The love. Peace and happiness. That's what I believe. So now, 
This is in the 14th chapter. I may not go through all that. This is about judging one another. Okay? Him that is weak in the flesh, receive me not, but to do what? Doubtful. Do what else? That's right. Exactly right. All right. So now, but one believeth that he may eat all things. You got to read it. Another who is weak, he is urged. He want to be healthy. All right. This brother back here, we talk about that. Yeah. He's trying to bring me out before I'm eating all this food. So I think God sent him tonight for that purpose. Bring me out of this junk. Yeah. Because I love it. He waved he waved his hands at me. I love sweets. But I don't I don't need these as much as I do. I really don't. Yeah. Except my wife and I, I I kill myself eating sweets. Alright? So now for well, one believer that he may eat all things. Another who is weak, he is earth. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. Let him which eateth not judge him that eateth. Why? For God has reason. Receive him. The God has received him. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't, I, I ain't going to be taking you with Jesus. Yeah. Nobody got to be taking you with Jesus. All that comes from God. Mm -hmm. you see, God puts it into us. Sometimes we get hard here. Mm -hmm. I have to admit that, y'all. I love sweets. Potato pies, peach cobbles, I make all them. All that stuff like that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I can just cook it and eat it right up. Look around and cook some more. But that's not right. Because well, I, got, I got a half a pot of pepper mess right now. Go around the peppermints in my pocket. Yeah. I'll tell you about it. I got no big care no candy in my pocket eating all the time. Huh? I used to have my sport to do that. That boy will drive you nuts. Yo, what where are you going? What you doing? Yeah, not too much of it. All right, now, let not him that eateth the oh we already read that. All right? Who art thou that judges another man? A man, another man serve. To his own master, he standeth fully. Yet he shall be hold up, holding up, for God is able to do what? To make him stand. Y'all know without God we could walk. God, without God, we couldn't stand. We only got two legs. Two feet. Now, we see that I'm out there, got four legs, four feet, and all like that. But, but yeah, it, it's, it's amazing how we can run all that on, on those two things. You know why? Because that is a gift and the power of God doing those things. That's right. But it's good to be able to understand the goodness of God. Yeah. But what do you do? Now, 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 now. All right? The Bible, verse 6. Verse 5. All right? One man eateth, and one man. 
entertainment one day above another. Another entertainment every day alike. Let every man be full persuaded in his own mind. Now, whatever you got in your mind to do, who am I to come and tell you? Now, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I would do something else. You see, your mind already not told you what you should do. Then told you right what you should do. And put your mind to tell you wrong too what to do. Now, I got no way of telling you, you're wrong. You should do such such a thing. And we got people that will do that right today. They tell you, you know, that doesn't sound good to me. If I were you, I would do such and such a thing. Yeah? All right. So this young couple here, when I was over there and I told him, boy, if I were you, I'd get another girlfriend. Or maybe somebody tell her, you need to get another boyfriend. Yeah. So look at his hair, he's got all the hair. Look how he's going. Then you don't worry about that. You don't worry about that. You worry about doing good, doing right. You see, whatever God has for you to do, you do that, and you'll be blessed. <laughs> he that regardeth the day, regardeth unto the Lord. And he that regardeth not the day, to the Lord, he does not regard. He had, he that eateth, eateth to the Lord. For he giveth God thanks. And he, he that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not. And do what? Giveth God thanks. A lot of people uh, eat, fill up, don't even say the grace. Don't even say bless the food. Mm -hmm. I mean, they get up from there. You, you know, you say, you know what? I was so hungry, I forgot all about it. You know? I don't care how hungry I get, y'all. When I sit down to a plate to eat, I don't care if it's something, I ask God to bless. Bless. Because without him, I wouldn't have had it. God's all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I said, Amen over this corner, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But none of us live it to himself, and no man dies to himself. Huh? All right. But whether we live, we live unto what? The Lord. And whether we die, we do what? We die unto who? The Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, guess who we are? We are the Lord. But if we carry ourselves the wrong way and go the wrong way, we still the Lord, but hey, we just aren't in it. Ignore what the Lord said to do. They end up in the pit. And in the pit, they don't have, they don't have picnics and all like that. No, you don't go there and sit at the table, have your, have your wine, drinking everything, and your cigarettes puffing, and uh, your drugs, all this. No, you have that there. But that's why I love with you. Amen. All right? So now, uh, to this end, Christ both died and rose, uh, and did what? Revive that he might be Lord, uh, both for who? The dead and the living. The Lord of both. God is good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment of Christ. We're going to do that. We're going to stand before the judgment of Christ. But 
God is the one who's going to push you and give you benefit. Okay? God's good. But it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, every tongue shall confess to God. So now how you how, how you how you gonna bow down to him and confess to him and otherwise and God have to do it. No. No. You go bow down to him. But when you make your confession, it's going to be your God. So God knows you. Why he knows you? Because he thinks you. It's because you be in him. Without God, you all would be in him. I didn't say anything that. I said, without God, you all would be in him. Maybe I wouldn't either. Yeah. All right. All right, let me go to close it out there before I get to but let us let us say this. Uh, it says, the 12th question, then every one of us shall do what? Give an account of himself to God. I can't give no account to you. I've got to give an account of my own self. you got to give an account of your own self. You guys are like, you know, God, uh, 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 I, I was doing, I was all right now, but yeah, but yeah, what about you? What about you? You gotta give it out of your own self. What was good, what was bad. That's right. These days are coming, those people do not like to hear that. And preachers don't like to preach that. They don't like to preach about the judgment and all like that. They don't, they don't, they don't you to know that. All they do is bring them the money. I already got some breakdown out for you. Now, God is good. And I do want to thank you. I do want to thank you. For inviting me over to now. Pastor Al, you good? You still want to thank you. Thank you. 